Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Malala City Council meeting. Today's August 8th. I have 7.04 p.m. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Start with roll call over here. Councilor Palumbo present. Councilor Swigert present. Councilor Borth here. Councilor Klein present. Mayor Tyson here. City Manager Dan Huff present. City Recorder Kelly Richardson present. Public Works Director Gerald Fisher present. Councilor Childress is absent this evening. All right. Uh, do we do we have any public comments? You want to say anything? Any. You don't have any either. Okay. No public comments or communications. Next item up is the adoption of the agenda. If there's no changes. We need a motion to adopt. Um, I had a question. Um, on the minutes um, under old business number eight, um, I wanted to ask you with the utility billing section, did we vote uh, yay on that? Or, no. Or did we vote no on that? You uh, and I. You and you and I voted nay. I think that's what I thought. I thought you had for sure. I don't recall what yours was. So I think that would be the only change. Uh, if you could maybe look into that and see if you could check the records, because I believe on uh, old business number eight, the last one for ordinance 2018-07, I believe the mayor and I voted nay on that. So if you can look into that and then just correct it and we can just um approve you know whichever way okay it needs to be or me was that yeah i don't remember if that was it or i was looking for that as well is that the one you thought that we the forest road motion yeah not the, Is that the one you're Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the forest the, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the forest, forest road, road motion. That's right. That's that's not the, the not the utility. not the water. You're not the utility. Not the forest road. Not yeah. Not not eight, but the one below eight, right above reports and announcements. The motion. It's to, still under eight. It's the last. To one, untable, um, untable the forest road discussion. Yeah. Untable mall forest road. Myself and Councilor Borath were both no's or nays. Vehement, vehement nays. Mine was. So was mine. <laughs> if Councilor Childress would have had a gavel, I might have been gaveled down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you can you can make that change. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can. We need to. Uh, so with that amendment, I would say um, I would make a motion to approve the agenda or consent agenda. Second. A motion by Councilor Borth. Can I just stop, Council? Right. There? We're at adoption of agenda currently. Yes. So is that what you're making your motion for is to adopt the agenda? We're not at consent agenda yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, let's oh, adopt the agenda. Sorry. We're out of order here. Okay. All right, do we have a second? Second. So I have a motion by Councilor Board, the second by Councilor Swigert to adopt the agenda as presented. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? None, so be it. All right, on to the consent agenda. And it sounds like there is an amendment. Uh, do, amendment. You want, do you want me to make an amendment? I, I, I think a just, a new a, just a new motion to adopt a consent agenda uh, with the minutes amended as discussed sufficient so be it second I have a motion by Councilor Bohr the second by Councilor Swigert to adopt the consent agenda with the amendment to the minutes as discussed all those in favor aye, aye. all those opposed none so be it nothing under ordinances resolutions or proclamations new business 
We have a placeholder here for discussion of future topics. Is there anything that counselors would like to have brought forward on a, on a future agenda that they feel the need to speak of tonight? Hearing nothing, there's nothing in old business. That takes us to reports and announcements. <coughs> I don't have anything tonight. Kelly? I don't have anything tonight. Dan? Um, just a real quick, this would be a, a record for, for Jimmy, but uh, I went to a meeting this morning in Clackamas County on um, CLT. Anybody ever know what? CLT is no. cross laminated timber. Very good. What's that? Cross laminated it's, timber. Oh, okay. They are uh, building buildings like high rises out of timber timber that is set a certain way so that like the grains are opposing and it's supposed to be just as strong as steel. Yeah. Yeah. If so, not so they're looking at they being the Clackamas County Business and Economic Development Department, they're looking at sites potentially in Douglas, uh, Clackamas County. Douglas County is where one is today in uh, Riddle. There's a plant in Riddle, it's a smaller one, but uh, um, so they're, they're actually taking a look at Malala and Estacada. There's also a bunch of periphery components that go with it because there's attachments and connectors that have to be part of this. Um, and uh, so I, it was about a three hour presentation this morning and then um, took uh, Commissioner Humbertson on a tour of our industrial sites here in Malala today. And they're actually looking at trying to um, place a plant near the resource. And um, as I can attest, <laughs> there are logs running out of this community every day. And um, Gerald and I count them. If he's ever in my office, we count them. So, so it's actually a good thing. Um, the uh, there's folks outside this community that uh, see the potential in Malala, and um, we just need to keep participating. Um, it was good that I was there with a little name tag that said Malala on it. So, um, whenever you're out looking around. At, and participating in things, wearing your name tags, it's actually good for our community. Folks see it, folks think this is a good community and, and I still think that there's a lot of potential for a lot of good things here. We just need to keep our nose to the grindstone. I did tell him as I was giving uh, Commissioner Humbertson a tour that the biggest detriment to improving commerce in Malala is Highway 211. And uh, he seemed to agree with me as we were writing, as we were <laughs> driving down the road. So, so we're we're working on that too. Uh, Gerald's on that almost daily. So, um, but it's not our road, as you all know. It's it's a constant battle. So, that's all I have. Thank you, Councillor Palumbo. I have nothing today. Councillor Swigert. I do have something <clears throat> for actually for Gerald. How are we? I, I noticed Colton shut off watering completely instead of odd even. Are we doing okay in that? Yeah, right now we're doing fine. We had a um, record day. Um, but other than that, uh, I talked to the water treatment plant staff. They're not concerned. Um, the flows in the river for this time of year and the conditions it's been um, are actually still pretty good. So um, we're not foreseeing any, uh, any curtailment. I would like to see some rain on and off to kind of knock down the dust and smoke and reduce the fire hazard around the area, but um, we're not seeing any issues right now. So I killed my tomatoes for no reason. Oh, well. no, I've got one you can have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Councilor Boyd? Uh, I just want to mention I stopped by um, National Night Out last night, and they had uh, a lot of city people. Appreciate them coming out, the fire department, a lot of nonprofits. And it's a really hot night, but a lot of people came out and um, 
lots of kids getting free uh, bike helmets. So it's good to see. Mm -hmm. Councilor Klein? Um, just two things. One, uh, really proud of our police department and their response to the challenge on the lip sync thing. It was a beautiful video they did and that was, they really stepped it up and did an amazing job. Um, second thing is uh, Councilor Childress, Leota and I went to the Ford Family Foundation Vision to Action meeting last week in Florence for a couple of days and it's just an opportunity for people around the rural areas who have been involved in visioning, who are starting visioning, who have completed visioning, might be restarting new visioning um, to get together and learn about what they're doing, what's working and bring back ideas to our community. So in a future um, there may be an opportunity for us to host one of those types of meetings. Our biggest challenge is lodging. Where would we put the 30, 40 people that would come? Um, so if you have any ideas about that and we want to throw our hat in the ring someday, that's an opportunity for us to host um, a really good group of people in the Ford Family Foundation who obviously has supported our visioning process in our community in a lot of ways. So that's it. All right. Uh, have we heard anything further on the potential for a sidewalk at Hesi Lane on 211? Oh, the crossing? Yes. Yeah, actually. Or, um, yeah, crosswalk, not yeah, sidewalk. I um, was actually on the phone yesterday, day before yesterday, yesterday um, with uh, ODOT representatives. They've come to a internal agreement on location and um, I said, go, we're still waiting, go, mm -hmm. go, go. And so uh, we should be seeing something come through on that pretty fast. They are gonna need to do a IGA amendment that the city manager can take care of um, to um, accept the $750,000 um, that we received from Representative Lewis and add the crosswalk into the original project. So I'm just waiting for them to get that to us. But they're pressing forward with finalizing the design acceptance package so we can move forward in final design and construction. Is, is there any way to keep the sidewalk or the crosswalk project separate no. from? Because it was written into the step. It was an add-on to the step. So there's there's no way to separate it out because no, we're looking I asked. at quite a bit of time. I asked. Yeah. Do we do we know what their solution for a crosswalk is there? Um, it's a pedestrian island. It's a pedestrian island. Yeah. Um, I don't have any other details other than they located a pedestrian island slightly east of the intersection of Hesi Lane. I, would it be? Would it be possible because we have a match that we have to contribute for the project? Would it would it be possible for us to go ahead and put that match up and do that project so that it's done and we're not waiting on it? If it's if it's within the confines of the amount that we have to put up for a match, it all has because it's in the step project. It all has to run through the federal process, get a design acceptance have all the environmental done, go through the design, then they go ahead and bid it out, award it, and then they construct it with the sidewalk. We can't separate it out. It wasn't in the original in the original STIP application. It so was they wrote it in, we haven't approved actually adding that project. No, in. it was added in by Representative Lewis from what I understand. The seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars wasn't tied to a crosswalk there. That was just it to, was to add to the it was tied to the extension of pedestrian improvements and any crosswalk work. That's what Representative Lewis told me. Okay, so. Is it because of the road work they're doing? They don't wanna have that in there and then have to work around it, I'm guessing? I have no idea what motivates ODOT. Can, can we reach out to them and find out if we can do some sort of a, a temporary solution? I mean, even if it's the city putting down the, the thermal plastic or whatever, across so that there is some sort of a marking there because I don't think people realize that it is an actual crosswalk and there are people crossing there and it is a danger to members of our community to, to not have that mark. If I wanted to go out and put down thermoplastic, I would have to submit designs for review and approval to the Department of Transportation okay. and go through the whole process. Okay. Mm. 
you said it's their road. Idea that occurs to me. What about a crossing guard before and after school? Have to get permission from the Department of Transportation, put forward a plan to them. They have to review it and approve it. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, what about, uh, I don't know, taggers? <laughs> well, it sounds like we're going to have that conversation <laughs> offline. <laughs> wow. That's, yeah. Okay, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll do something in the future. We know that something's coming, but it yeah. sounds like. The city can't do anything. They, they've never brought anything forward and, and said, you know, in the interim, you could do this. They, it's been silent. So I don't think there's anything we could do by the time school started anyway, which would have been nice to have something in there then. But it's been going on for two years. Oh, I'd yeah. like to be finishing up construction, but I don't have control about it. Right. right. Okay. All right. We built sidewalks faster in city streets. Yeah. I don't understand why they wouldn't just let us put something. It's the state, sir. It's called bureaucracy. We're, we're being diplomatic. Right now. Got it. All right. All right. I don't have anything else this evening, so that takes us through reports and announcements. We do have an executive session this evening, so uh, we are going to close the regular meeting and meet uh, pursuant to Oregon Public Record Law ORS 192.6602. Um, to consult the council concerning the legal rights and duties of a public body with regard to current litigation or litigation likely to be filed. I guess, do we need a motion to close answer? our meeting? To close our meeting? Make a motion yes. we close the regular city council meeting. Go Second. Ahead. Executive session. I have a motion by Councilor Board, the second by Councilor Swigert to close the regular meeting and enter into executive session. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? No? So be it. Thank you. Thank you, public, for being here. Thank you, public.